Hi, welcome back. In this video, we'll look at some examples from chapter 3.2, The Discriminant and Nature of Fruits. Okay, in example number one, we are asked to find the values of p for which this equation, px squared equals to 2x minus p, has equal and real roots. Okay, so let us first, you know, do some simple transformation to the equation. So I'm going to shift everything to the left hand side of the equation and this will give me this. Okay, so let's just call this equation number one. And you realize that if, I mean, if the question wants equal and real roots, then we are in the scenario of the second case over here. Look at the top left hand corner of the screen. You'll see that for real and equal roots, the discriminant is equal to zero. Okay, so let us first identify what is our discriminant. Okay, so, you know, I know you guys are new to this. So let me just... Uh, write down the fundamental equation over here then we can easily identify our a b and c so staring at equation number one and equation number two by comparing coefficients we can identify that a is equals to p b is equals to negative two and c is also equals to p okay so what we're going to do next we will apply our idea of discriminant okay so for real and equal roots discriminant b squared minus 4ac is equals to 0, okay? And since b is negative 2, let me just perform the substitution. a is p, c is p, okay? This is equals to 0. Okay, so solving this, okay, let me just so show you how I can solve this, okay? So shifting the 4p squared over to the right-hand side, okay? I'll get p squared equals to 1, okay? So to solve for p, Take the square root of 1 on both sides of the equation and we will end up with 1 or negative 1. Okay, therefore the values of p that we're looking for is just 1 or negative 1. Okay, so let's us, let us move on to the next example. Okay, in example number 2, we are asked to show okay, that the roots of this equation are real for all real values of p. Okay. So how do we show that the roots are real? Okay, let us recap that for real roots, okay, it is a combination of the first scenario and the second scenario. Okay, the first scenario we have real and distinct roots, and the second scenario we have real and equal roots. So if I want real roots, okay, I will be looking at the case whereby the discriminant, okay, is greater than or equals to zero. So in, in short, we are looking at this case whereby the discriminant is greater than or equals to zero. Okay, but before I perform our substitution, let us first identify, okay, what is our A, B, and C. Okay, so, okay, let me just, uh, let me just write it out for you over here. So, recall that the fundamental equation is always in the form AX squared plus bx plus c okay so in this case let us identify that a is just one okay because this is one x square and then b is just one minus p and finally c is just negative p okay so let us perform the substitution now so we have b square which is one minus p square minus four times a a is just one c is just negative p okay and this is we need to show that this expression over here is greater than or equals to zero, okay? So how do we do that? Okay, let us first simplify the given expression. Okay, so from here, we can simplify to get one minus p squared plus four p, okay? Okay, and simplifying this, Okay, I will get 1 minus 2p plus p squared plus 4p. Okay, simplifying further and rearranging, negative 2p plus 4p will just give me positive 2p. Okay, and realize that this is in the form a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Therefore, I can factorize this into p plus 1 squared. Okay, so those of you who are who are not sure how I got from this step to this step, let me just uh, remind you guys that a plus b square is equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Okay, so 
realize that the square of any number will always be greater than or equals to zero okay because the square of any number is always positive okay or equals to zero okay therefore we have shown therefore we have shown that the discriminant okay therefore the discriminant is so uh, is always greater than or equals to zero okay and we have shown that the roots of the equation are always real okay so just in case you're still feeling confused at the top of the screen okay for real roots the discriminant is always greater than or equals to zero okay so this is what we need to show in this question okay so just to summarize okay for this chapter on uh, real and sorry for this chapter on uh, roots okay we will deal with basically three scenarios the positive discriminant the discriminant is equals to zero and as well as the negative discriminant okay so in the case of the positive discriminant we are looking at the case with two real roots as you can see from the graph over here and the case of the discriminant equals to zero we're dealing with the case of one real and this one real equal root okay which is over here as you can see in the in the graph and lastly for the dis for the negative discriminant we'll be dealing with the no real roots scenario or imaginary roots okay whereby your roots are uh, sorry whereby your curve will never touch the x-axis okay so before we go just leave you some practice questions you can try okay so you can pause the video here to take them down and finally Thank you for watching this video. Okay, for more videos, please log on to pencilcollege.com. Thank you.